Jacksonville fans are asking, is suspended Jaguar Justin Blackman tackling the problems that plague him? Right now, he is completing court-ordered counseling after pleading guilty to his latest DUI. And last night, we heard from a family in Oklahoma who refuses to give up on the fallen football player. Tonight, we learned Blackman is still a hero to many in the state where he grew up. Joy's joining us. And Joy, during your trip to his hometown, did you ever get a chance to speak with him even off camera? Well, Mary and Tom, minutes after Blackman's court hearing several weeks ago in his hometown of Ardmore, Oklahoma, my photographer and I stopped by his family's home. Blackman was there, but he wouldn't answer the door when I knocked. So I talked to him through the door, explaining we were there to find out about his life now. He eventually came out, got into his truck, and left. Now, Blackman's father did stop and speak with me briefly outside the courthouse before his son's hearing. He didn't want to be interviewed on camera, but he did tell me how he felt about the Hamilton family in particular, who speaks so highly of his son. For the Hamiltons in yeah, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It hurts, you know, and you want, we want the best for Justin. The man, the Jacksonville Jaguars know as a big disappointment. Blackman suspended once again today. Proved to be one of the Hamilton's biggest heroes as their daughter Olivia was fighting for her life. How close a friend did he become with you? Really close. That was pretty cool. Yeah. You know, he just would pick her up and put her on his hip and yeah. be like, yep, this is my buddy. <laughs> You know, so it was it was great and it made her feel like part of the team. Suspended NFL wide receiver Justin Blackman encouraged Olivia when she was diagnosed with leukemia, then celebrated with her when she won her battle. He flew her and her family to the 2012 Fiesta Bowl, then brought them to New York for the NFL draft. The Jacksonville Jaguars select Justin Blackman. All the great times are what makes Blackman's multiple arrests so painful as the Hamiltons and fans nationwide watched him fall. The Jaguars are hoping, as are many of his friends, that he enters into some sort of professional counseling. We wish him the best and, you know, he's always going to be a special part of, of our family and, and of our heart and we, it, I mean, nothing has changed. You know, we still feel the same way about him. And, you know, he'll always be a hero to us. And okay. the Hamiltons, oh my gosh. Yes, they are yes. So, Olivia so. and the family are awesome. They are awesome. Warren Blackman smiles, recalling his son's relationship with Olivia. Blackman's father, who declined an on camera interview, has been to every one of his son's court hearings. The most recent one, hey, Justin, I'm Joy Purdy from Jacksonville, is where we caught up with the two of them last month. A judge deciding to allow Justin Blackman to finish his court ordered substance abuse counseling before sentencing him on a DUI charge next month. It's sad that people look at him that, oh, he screwed up his life, but regular people do this every day. That's also what we heard from disappointed fans in Stillwater, Oklahoma, Blackman's old stomping grounds. Mistakes are made and things happen down the road and that's part of life. The general manager of Louis Grill and Bar near Oklahoma State University grew up watching OSU football. Super nice guy. We loved having him here. And despite his disappointment. Man, that could have been awesome. Adam Sisko feels the two-time All-American athlete is still a hometown hero. Really nice, really respectful. I remember kind of seeing him when he was a young man. He had the, the braces on, you know, and just a big smile. And we were so excited when he got drafted, and he was so great, you know, a local hero. It's kind of heartbreaking to see somebody, you know, that nice and that, you know, well-mannered end up like that. It just kind of hurts. As a wide receiver at OK State, Touchdown. Blackman was unstoppable on the field. His honors and accolades still on the walls of the OSU weight room, the wide receiver's second home. Among them, he earned the Blitnikoff Award two consecutive years as the nation's top receiver, only the second college player ever to win it twice. Justin Blackman received so many awards, so many accolades here at Oklahoma State University. There are still pictures of him on the wall. This is the Valero Alamo Bowl, an action shot of him here. Farther down this wall is the 2012 Fiesta Bowl. Here's another action shot, him during the game, and then a picture with him and head coach Gundy. Right after this was the 2012 NFL Draft and the start of his troubles. Since 2010, Blackman's been arrested four times, three for DUI and once for marijuana possession. Moves off the field that forced the NFL to suspend him from the league indefinitely. In the spring of last year, Blackman tried to return to the NFL, applying for reinstatement. He was denied. Seven months later, his fourth arrest. 
Today, while he remains suspended by the NFL, Blackman's rights are retained by the Jaguars, and he could try to come back again. But would fans be so forgiving? I hope to see him again one day, you know. All those guys, we're proud of those guys, and, you know, regardless of what they you know, encounter on down the road. We love him, and, and we are always praying for him and uh, have his, his best interest at heart. I'd rather see him be a good person before he goes back on the field if he ever does again. Blackman is finishing his court-ordered classes and will then be sentenced to August 24th for his latest DUI. If he were to return to football, he would have to endure about a two-month-long vetting process with the NFL. Now, since our first story aired last night, many of you have reached out to me through social media. For example, this person at Fam Allergy Jack says, hey, Joy, wonderful job on the Justin Blackman story. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. I pray for JB14, the person. Then Matt Thomas on Facebook wrote to me, sad that young men with an amazing life opportunity shining in front of them, wasted, sad. Now, not all the comments have been positive, but no matter what your thoughts are, I would love to hear what you think of our story. Reach out to me on Twitter at WJXT Joy Purdy or on Facebook, WJXT4 Joy Purdy. Tom, Mary? Joy, I mean, realistically, what are the chances that Blackman really could come back to the Jaguars and, and really play here? You know, technically, he's young enough. He's 26 years old. But I talked with our sports director, Sam Gavaris, and he said that one of the stipulations for the NFL would be to finish a DUI course, and that's what he's taking. So this may be a step toward that, mm -hmm. but Sam also said, as well as Dave Caldwell, the GM of the Jaguars, that it's been several years since he's played. Truthfully, his chances really are slim. Mm -hmm. Joy, last night when you showed us how kind Justin Blackman had been years ago to Olivia Hamilton, you said that you just kind of hope that the Blackmans, Justin and his father at home in Oklahoma, maybe watched your story on news4jacks.com. Did you get any indication today whether that happened? It's interesting. They, one of the family's best friends, which was the only way that we were communicating with Justin Blackman as well as his family, she emailed me today and said how thankful she was for our story. And it told the story of the person that she knew. And knowing that she watched it, really gives me a good indication that the family watched it and hopeful that we may hear from Justin Blackman himself. And know that there are fans out there pulling for him. Yeah, that would be great. Well